For the first time in the 30-year history of this great game, the McDonald's All-American game is being played here in the Bluegrass State. Our venue is fabulous Freedom Hall here in the Derby City of Louisville, Kentucky. It's the West taking on the East. Thank you, Eric. Kevin, the Morgan Wooten Award, what does that mean in terms of national significance? Well, it means so much. There's so many names that came before me, like Magic Johnson, Kevin Garnett, LeBron James, all the way up to Gray Golden last year. So, you know, it feels great to have some good company like that. And there's so many great players in this class that it could have gone any way. I'm standing here next to O.J. Mayo that, you know, could have won it also. So it feels great. O.J., you came out here, you see the McDonald's logo. What's your mindset right now? Um, well, you know, I just, I just hope a lot of people come out and support this game because it's going towards a charity right here in the city of Louisville. So I think that's a great thing. I just hope we get to sell our crowd. Two of the best, ready to go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Hey, how about a 19-year-old mentoring an 18-year-old? <laughs> <laughs> the new era. Michael Beasley stepping out, the 6'10 forward, knocking in the three. Beasley, tremendously talented from the Washington, D.C. area. So his ability to rebound as well as put it on the floor and lead the break. Kyle Singler has his three-ball attempt blocked by O.J. Mayo. You know, Michael Beasley is a very intriguing player. Sometimes looks like an NBA player, other times a bit disinterested. I think Bobby Huggins is the perfect coach for him. That last bucket by the National Player of the Year, Kevin Love inside. I really like Dante Green. He's one of those understated players that as the game goes on, all of a sudden you notice he's got eight, ten points, three or four, very oh, balanced nice. attack. Yeah. Two kids out of Oregon combining there. Kevin Love finds Kyle Singler. Eric Rose misses his first shot. Almost gets the steal. So what do you think the over-under is on dunks in this game? I, I'm going to say 12, Len. Do you take over or under? I don't know how to play that game, Tim. <laughs> Kevin Love is, is such a unique player. Look at that outlet pass by Kevin Love. Wow. Easy two for Singler. Yeah. You got to at least mention some of those schools in there with the predominance of all Americans. Uh, there's only one school that has won a national championship without a McDonald's All-American. Len, do you know who that is? Let me guess. It begins with an N and ends with a D. Three on one. No problem there. James Harden rocks the rim. Inside, easy two. We've seen that dunk before. Blake Griffin, he won the dunk contest back on Monday. How, how well is, is Griffin going to fit in with the Big 12? His brother is already there as a small forward. you got a couple of Griffins playing for Jeff Capel next year. Jay Lucas, the point guard, can also score. Donnie Flynn back in the game. Oh, my! Once again, the two kids off to Syracuse combining. It's Flynn to Green. Eric Gordon jumper. I was going to say Jim Beheim looking to try to hit the replay oh button on the TiVo. <laughs> Make sure he liked what he saw. And a steal off the inbound. Beasley off the alley oop find from Rowe. When Elmore called you the consummate guard, Eric. He was the consummate pro himself. <laughs> Coming the other way, oh the first God. bucket of the game for oh Eric God. Gordon. Get out of Indianapolis. Three ball, no problem. Austin Freeman. And quickly the other way, a two pointer for Derrick Rose, Chicago kid out of Simeon High School. Freeman misses this one. And Gordon hangs in the air and he is fouled. They'll go to the free throw line and shoot a couple of free throws, but that will happen when we come back. We've got about seven and a half minutes remaining here in the first half. And here comes the West. Derrick Rose hangs in the air and gets it to Kevin Love. Well, if you're a big guy and you run the floor, we talked about it before, with these guards and their ability to penetrate, you just got to get to the open spot. I think Nolan's got a lot of, excuse me, those same characteristics, but he's more of a true guard. Derrick didn't become a play much guard until his junior and senior years. The other, he played forward up till then. Let's put that coaching whistle back on. You're watching this game. You had one, you have one selection to make. Who are you taking back to Louisville with you? Well, that, just picking one is hard, but uh, I like Love a lot. I think he's got a chance to be a really good player. He's got, he's physical, he's strong, he's a great athlete. I mean, he jumps well, and uh, he can shoot it outside or take you inside either one. I like Beasley, real athletic kid. I, in fact, a lot of these kids are very athletic. I don't see any of them out here that, that aren't. They, they're in a special group. In this day and age, though, I think the way the game is played, more times than not, if you can't find a dominant big guy, you're looking for that 
queen on the chessboard. Somebody who's capable of doing everything. Deep shot for King! Well, I was speaking to one of the selection committee members, Howard Garfinkel, a legendary five-star guru. And that's the one thing he mentioned, Taylor King. He said his jump shot is pure. No matter where he is on the floor, he's never far off. And you saw the range there. And talk about range running the floor from baseline to baseline is Kevin Love. Oh, Johnny Flynn didn't expect that. Now, O.J. Mayo, believe it or not, he's been first team All-State five times in three different states. As an eighth grader in Kentucky, three years at a school in Cincinnati, and his senior year winning the state championship in Huntington, West Virginia. So he's been all over, but he's dominated all over, and he's going to take that skill set that he has out to Southern California and play for Tim Floyd next year. Jay Lucas over to Harden. A little floater, and Harden hits it. Guys, believe it or not, Harden's actually the fourth player from his high school to play in this game. Now guys pushing it up the floor again. We talked about it at the end of the first half, more the second half. Guys are feeling more comfortable in game situations with each other. And that's some of the value. That's why they're as good as they are, because they can make the adjustments. Patient shown by Harden. Two consecutive buckets for him. And Harden continues to impress the southpaw. I don't think people have figured out he's lefty yet. O.J. Mayo with the basketball that's in transition. Him. That's him right there. Oh, would have been nice with the left hand. But he didn't finish, but you saw the way he kind of weaved his way through the traffic. Yeah, Kevin Love once again. He was really a student of the game, and because his dad, Stan, played in the NBA, there was a lot of extra film sessions. Kevin Love will attend UCLA. People have compared him to Bill Walton. What are your thoughts on Kevin Love and his skill set? I haven't seen him play enough to make any real uh, valid uh, uh, idea about him. I, oh, he's very good. He has to be with the uh, statistics that they put up. I've met him. He seems to be a very nice young man, has he's uh, I think feet on the ground in good shape oh from what I've seen here. Guys, your thoughts on Kevin Love and what we've seen so far? Uh, early, he's the MVP front line runner. He has scored in double figures, and his team is up by 12. You know, you look at Coach Wooden, and you see those 10 championships in his face in the words that he speaks and recognizing that that's a almost impossible feat to be able to to accomplish and for anybody to accomplish going forward. Kevin Love said the biggest thing he needs to do is learn how to play both ends of the court defense as well as offense. And that's what I mean by position defense. As I said, a big center or even a power forward going to have to be able to come to penetration, pick up lanes, be able to help. And you have to have an understanding of what's going on on the floor to be able to do that successfully. Oh, O.J. Mayo showing why he's so special. Shakes Eric Gordon, drops him to the floor, and then raises on a three. Michael Beasley continues to be Beasley. Inside, good left hand up and in. Michael Beasley, another two. There's the man we're talking about, Beasley. And he has his pocket picked by O.J. Mayo. Four on two. And Freeman finishes at the rim. And that tells me that O.J. Mayo wants to win this ball game. He had a chance to take a guy one-on-one. -on -one. Instead, unselfish enough to get the basket. So don't think this is all fun and games out here for these guys. Every one of these guys is a competitor. Bayless has his shot snuffed out. Patterson gets it up to Kalathis. What a delivery by Kalathis. You see that Jason Williams. Oh, effect. Beasley coming back the other way. Kalathis with the Jason Williams effect, and obviously Beasley just playing like a man. Jump shot up and in. Eric Gordon. The favorite player of Johnny Flynn all time from Syracuse, Sherman Douglas. Oh, why not? Spring Iron High School, jump shot up and in. Derrick Rose taking over now. All right, Eric Gordon with the basketball. His team up by a deuce. Shot clock down to seven. And Bayless, nowhere to go. Throws it away. Chance to tie or take the lead. Mayo! Kalathis has got to get it up. And that'll do it. Oh, what a fantastic way to end the 30th McDonald's All-American game. The West, they hang on and win. Michael Beasley, 
Kevin Love in the West had a big lead and they just barely hold on to win.